I talked with Dave not too long ago about my seven. He was always open and generous with his knowledge. If there was a U.S. Lotus icon, it was Dave Bain. Don. I met Dave when he and Roberta moved to Mountain Ranch. I was just out of high school and must have said something right. He gave me a job doing anything and everything. Weed eating, plumbing, selling parts, packing and shipping, even working on the race car. He had more faith in me than I did. Matt. I think I first met Dave back in the 1960s when I was racing my 7. I moved on from the 7 and Dave stuck with Lotus. It may have been a year or so ago, I had called for some parts for the Series 2 and he heard my name mentioned during the order and took over the phone. Must have spent a half hour remembering old times. Rob. Dave answered the phone a few times when I needed parts. That's the only contact I had with him, but I remember that some of the things he said made me laugh out loud. He sure seemed to have a great sense of humor that even popped up in his parts book. Bob. My most outstanding memory of Dave was when we went to help him after the fire. After losing everything, his foremost thought was to knock down the fireplace so that no one would be hurt if it fell. He wasn't thinking about what was lost, but the safety of others. But that was the way he lived life, always putting others first. Rick. What I found that was quite funny was at the end of our conversations, he would always tease me about building an oversized teeter motor for my Lotus, which would always make me wonder what he ran in his Lotus 26R. Dave will always be in my heart and I pray for the best for Roberta. Don. It was Dave Bean who came to my rescue. He called his shop, had an employee literally take the rear end out of her car, and then someone delivered it to the racetrack. A vintage racing motors from Redmond, Washington mechanic installed it, allowing me to limp back home with a head full of adventures. Dave saved my bacon that trip, and he always remembered the crazy lady from Washington with the Super 7 whenever I or others on my behalf called for parts. Alice. Several years ago, my wife and I stopped by to see a shop in San Andreas where we met Dave again and met and put faces to Roberta, Ken, and Tom. Yesterday, we went for a spin in the Elan and reminisced about our 1989 trip to Monterey and Dave's role in our purchase of the car. To me, Dave Bean was almost synonymous with Lotus, so his passing feels like a personal loss. Victor. <laughs>